my background, I work as a sports psychologist with many teams and athletes, and I help people to develop their mental skills and their mental qualities so they can achieve their potential in life and in sport. Today, I'd like to take you through a few personal stories on what success and failure meant to me as an elite sports person, how we can maybe deal with the setbacks in life that maybe drag us down at times, and maybe how you can define your own success in life at the moment and over the next 10 years. So I'm going to start with a little story around my own career. At the top of this picture is Crow Park. And for people maybe not involved in GEA, that's my mecca and where I wanted to be at 10 or 12 years of age and want to be winning All-Ireland Finals. For other people, that could be Lansdowne Road. It could be playing in a World Cup final for Ireland in soccer. It could be playing in a World Cup final for Ireland in rugby. And every year, the 1st of September comes around and I feel an energy and a positivity and inspiration coming into my body because it's all Ireland final week. On the bottom half of that photo is a, a 16 year old Tony Ogue who was playing his first minor final in front of 60,000 people. I'm just at the bottom right of that photo. For the week coming into that match, what should have been the most exciting part of my life at 16 years of age became one of the most worrying things in my life I thought at the time. I started to really fear the occasion. I started to really think that maybe I was going to let my teammates, my family and my club down and I was going to lose the match for Galway. And every day I woke up with that thought and that negativity in my body and it just ran through me for six or seven days. And when the game came around, I just had no energy playing the game. My mindset was in a really negative space and I was lacking real confidence because the inner story I was telling myself was one of defeat, one of negativity, one of self-doubt. And thankfully I was lucky enough that 14 other teammates pulled me through and we won that All-Ireland Final and it was a really positive experience. But at one instant I can remember after the game was going into the dressing room afterwards and breaking down in tears and just feeling relief that the whole thing was over. So what I thought might have been the best experience in my life turned into a nightmare at the time. I'll tell you another little story around the cycle of failure. I came into junior cert year, and for three years I told myself, I don't like history, it's something in the past, and I don't want to know anything about it. So for three years I was a 40% student in history, and I went in and sat my junior cert, and I said, I'm not going to do it after my junior cert, I don't really care about the subject. So I ended up failing it for my junior cert. Because within this cycle, the belief and thought process I had around history was I didn't like it, I'm never going to do it again, it's no use to me. I didn't realize my potential in the subject. My actions around it, I studied less and less, and I got the results I thought about and the expectation I set myself. So the fundamental thing as young people we need to challenge all the time is our belief and thinking. And we all have beliefs and thoughts about different things. But we've got to listen to that voice at times and change it if it's negative. So what is success for you? Maybe you're 14, 15 and it's just having a newest iPhone. Maybe it's just been popular in your school. Maybe it's buying a nice pair of runners or new shoes. And I was probably in that mindset at times as well when I was younger. But it's really important and I would challenge you to do this over the next couple of days. Could you sit down and have a look at the next five to 10 years of your life? What would success look like in my career? Where would I like to go to college? Where would I like to go to work? Who would I like to work for? What contribution would I like to make with my job? Maybe in your sports career, you might be a talented athlete, runner, cyclist. What's to stop you representing Ireland at Olympic level? What's to stop you winning gold medals? What's the story you're telling yourself at the moment? How much do you value your health at the moment? 
How healthy would you like to be over the next five to 10 years? What's your plan around exercise, nutrition, and sleep to allow that to happen? Relationships. One of the happiest things that'll make you satisfied in life and fulfilled in life is quality of our relationships. What people currently in your life are giving you that quality that you want and that happiness and fulfillment you want? Who are the people you want to surround yourself with, be it boyfriend or partner, family members or friends? And what adventure in your life do you want? What countries do you want to visit? Where would you maybe like to live and work? So all these things give us purpose and meaning in your life. And for me, meaning for me at the moment is con contributing to my community in a positive way and contributing to young people and older people in a positive way. And that's what gives me meaning in life. So highs and lows. I have four pictures up there and they're all of teams celebrating success. I'm going to start with the team on the right hand side as a Galway minor team in 2015. So the belief and the thought in the county was that this was the worst group of minors we had ever produced. But these young men refused to buy into that. And their actions worked into a team that wanted to win in All-Ireland and that's what they drove towards and they won it. And the last team up there is the Galway team I would have finished up and played with was in 2012. We won our first provincial title in Crow Park in 2012. But one of the biggest impacts that team had on me when I left it was a teammate of mine had mental health troubles. And a year after playing an All-Ireland final with that man, life got too much for him and he took his own life. And why I'm probably standing in front of you here today is because of Niall Dunhu. It made me question my own life and the impact I was having on young people. It made me want to help any young person I came in encounter with, be it with teams, be it in schools, be it in sport, and make a positive impact and contribution on their lives that we can now have open discussions in groups about how we feel. We would regularly sit around a table with 30 or 40 young men and talk about how we feel, and young women. And we'd openly cry in front of each other about how we were feeling. And that, for me, has been a huge shift since I started playing sport. So the last part for me is just to summarize today. Having multiple visions for your life. You can have success in your career, you can have success in your sport, you can have success in your relationships, you can have success traveling, whatever it is for you, define it and have multiple visions. And always focus on what you want to have and what you want to happen. Get multiple action plans. You're gonna fail once, you're gonna fail twice, you're gonna fail three times. Go again and go again and go again. Challenge any negative or faulty beliefs you have in there about yourself. The story you're telling yourself is key. That's fueling your achievement and your success in your eyes. And the last part for me is having a perspective on things. Failure is part of life. Don't play the blame game on yourself. Don't play the blame game on others. Take a balanced approach to it. Success will come around again. So change your inner story and change your inner thinking. Then your whole experience in your external world changes. Thank you very much for your time today. Thank you.